I was about to pop on cracking this D about to react to this impressive vid. So I wasn't even gonna react to this at first because I already watched a video that briefly went over Cardi's divorce. But a few people told me I need to watch it because impressive brings up a very interesting point about this all being fake and a PR stunt for attention. So sure <laughs> let's hear what she has to say child let's watch hello everybody welcome to the impressive channel it is said that cardi b is filing for divorce from her cheating husband yet again this has to be like what second third fourth fifth tenth time i don't know but <laughs> she's filing for a divorce from him again and according to page six it says that she's not folding this time and an insider said they've grown apart that's what drove her to this decision more than anything else this is something she wants to do. Now, Why does I have to see it to though? believe it. I mean, Cardi has threatened to leave Offset so many times, but she has never been able to do it. And right now she's actually pregnant with their third child. She actually made the announcement on Instagram and congrats. I'm just wondering why it would be a PR stunt because yeah, she has done this a few times before. Has it even been effective in the past? And in the past, was it even... Um, around the same time that she released music? I don't think it was. I think she was just genuinely like upset with, you know, his his cheating ways. Congratulations to her. So I don't know if but I'm But the situation as a whole is kind of a mess. And personally, I feel like this is another publicity stunt because like I said before in previous videos, Cardi B and Offset do like to use their marital drama to promote their music and cardi i guess is gearing up to release another album soon so this oh, whole report this about her divorcing mm -hmm. offset again is coming in right on time and it's also coming off of the hills of offset pregnant, but right. allegedly cheating on her again the ig model t room actually spotted him She's with not even another be able model to by the name of pretty reds pregnant. now pretty reds this denied having anything to do with offset in fact she's pregnant right now with her late husband's child. So she was really upset by the rumors and Offset did come out Pretty and deny it as well. Bad. And he said in his words that that girl wasn't his shouty. His shouty? Hey, my shorty. I actually believe that he wasn't with this woman at all. So it is possible this whole thing could have been a setup to create some drama so that Cardi can make her divorce a announcement setup. and her pregnancy announcement and usher in the rollout for her album. That's what I think. Now, oh. even though Offset did not mess with Pretty Reds, does that mean that he wasn't cheated on Cardi at all? Absolutely not. I mean, Offset has been caught slipping several times. Mm. We know that he's a cheater. In fact, not too long ago, just back in June, it was said that he was messing with a model named Pre, and it was rumored that he impregnated her. Now, Pre said that he never got her pregnant, but she never denied actually messing with him. Take that as you will, but it still doesn't change the fact that Offset has been linked to several different women outside of his marriage. And there's somebody on X by the name of A. Walker who actually put a whole montage of the whole relationship drama oh, between man. Offset and Cardi B. You can kind of slow it down and read through it if you want to, but the point of this montage is to show how messy their relationship has been over the past seven years. Wait, let's, let's put it back to normal speed. Hold on. Proposal was in 2017. For the past seven years. And what happened in 2016? Oh, man. Not a sex tape. Oh, I didn't know about that. I didn't see that. Already? He cheated fast. Arrested. Oh, this was right after. I didn't know that. We want a lot of love for each other. I don't know why I feel like they've been married a long time. Things just haven't been working out that. between us for a long time. A long time. I just got married the year before. <laughs> miss you for real wow wow uh, three thirty-two of them oh, i remember this sorry <laughs> huh yeah. 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 I'm 
Oh, I see him, man. Love you, too. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> <laughs> In the live. Look at you, man. Hey, I'm telling you. He didn't want her to snatch that phone, child. Mm. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. I'm, I'm a real one, like, I'm not gonna do this. I ain't gonna play with you, I ain't gonna keep playing with you. And then, cause it's affecting you, and it's, it's heartbreaking, it's wrong. And then at the end of the day, it's still bringing trouble to my home, cause at the end of the day, like, don't nobody wanna see this shit. Now, you think you could cheat on somebody and still be in love? Absolutely. For sure. Okay. People who don't understand that, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand how other people don't understand that. You have no real life experience at all. You're, you're very, very naive. Like, you can definitely be in love with someone, want to be with them, and still be shady and selfish and stupid and still fuck somebody else. So people are like, no, you don't really love them if you do that. You are just not very smart. <laughs> Cause what you can still, and I'm not, I'm not defending anything. By the way, I don't, I don't condone cheating, and I'm not a cheater. But just whenever I see people say that, I'm just like, brain is not braining. What, what do you mean? You could definitely still be in love with somebody and cheat on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. You want to talk to and a mother who will play in your face? Oh my god! Your, this whole time, over and over and over and over and over again, you've really been doing me dirty after. This one makes me think it's, it's real because this woman has been dealing with this literally non stop since they got together. So, how how could real life be a PR <laughs> This is what she's actually dealing with. Jesus, this is a lot. I can't. I'm gonna pause them all. Lord, every year? Multiple times a year? I mean, after looking back on the drama Jeez. in Cardi and Offset's marriage, I would actually hope that Cardi stands ten toes down and leaves Offset. And it's not like I want to see a family break up, but clearly this marriage is toxic. However, I don't see Cardi leaving him anytime soon. I would actually be surprised if she did, but I don't think she's going to at this point. I think this she point. is going to no. use their marital Damn. drama as a way to promote her music. So. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for all of the mess, all of the stunts. It's all about to go down, child. Oh, anyway, let me move on. Congratulations to Latoya Luckett. She just got okay. married again. Okay. <laughs> she Let's tied the knot with up. the entrepreneur, Talio Coles, and they had a beautiful ceremony. Latoya did gush about her relationship with Talio on Tamron Hall show. I am spoiled with kindness. I am spoiled with peace. I am spoiled with support. I am spoiled, I spoiled with They're consistency, cute. love. Really cute together. I'm very happy. You are. Yeah. I have so much peace, y'all. I have so much peace. I'm happy. So from the way Latoya was talking about the relationship, it does seem like it is the real deal. And I do hope that this relationship is truly healthy and it lasts for Latoya because she's been through quite a lot in the past seven to eight years. I mean, she was married to the author, Rob Hill Sr., and they were only married for two months, and we don't know why two they broke up. And Latoya couldn't like, say why because there was a gag order in place. You got married, right? And then you got divorced. Yes. And a matter of how long? Um, it was a short period of time. I can't really like elaborate on it and go into it. Why well, you can't talk about it? I'm just curious. You said I can't talk about it right now. That's There's cool. a gag order in our oh, divorce uh, okay, okay. paperwork, and okay. I'm gonna stick to that. You should. And honor that. Now, after Latoya's short-lived marriage, the following year, she married Tomakis Walker and had two children with him. Oh, okay. And this marriage was a whole mess. I mean, we saw how it pretty much went down in flames on T.I. and Tiny's family and friends hustle reality show. They did a Probably therapy not. session and Latoya said Tomakis would talk down on her. He wouldn't talk to her kindly at all. He would kind of dismiss her feelings. Tomakis also said Latoya would talk mean to him and said that she didn't cook enough and she wasn't patient and she didn't want to play. That's why people shouldn't just rush to be married, bro. And I feel like it's so much pressure in our society. I, I just feel for so many women around the world because a lot of them just jump into marriages and say yes to proposals or push their men to marry them only so that they can say, look, y'all, I'm, I, I, I got chose. I'm married, y'all. Look, I'm, I'm valuable, y'all, right? So, so unfortunate and and this is no shade to her at all and she seems like she got it right this time so good for her but yeah just 
There, there's a lot. And any alone time with him. Time, yeah. So they had quite a bit of issues. And it was really hard to watch. Anytime Latoya tried to speak her mind and speak about her feelings, he would just shut her down. And he, In fact, when they would have a disagreement, he would leave the state. I did not argue with you. I leave the room if you... You leave the state. Bernie been running away since we got married. He ran away when I was pregnant. He ran away. Child. Even with the issues Latoya and Tomicus had, they did end up having a second child together. But things quickly went left when the shade room put it on blast that Tomicus was cheating on Latoya with an IG model from Dallas while she was pregnant. After all of this happened, Latoya did eventually file for divorce and she quietly moved on. And now she found love again with Talio. And tell me why Tomicus threw shade at her new marriage. He said this on his IG story and the Neighborhood Talk posted it. He said, three and seven years, dynasty. And he used this picture of Tom Brady getting three rings in seven years, but this was obviously- shit. That is a lot, but mind your, mind your business, bum. Towards Latoya too, why because she also it? got three rings in seven years. She got married three times within seven to eight years. He also posted this on his that IG nice. story. I just sit back and observe, you learn more that way. So he's trying to imply that maybe she's the problem. Who knows, but I will say Tomicus is looking very, very bothered. I think it's really messed up that he's waiting for Latoya's marriage to crumble. I mean, the man that she married is going to be the stepfather to his children. So he needs to be I mean, he him. can't be pointing out her flaws and not looking that. at his own. Grow up. Let her move on and be in love, okay? Latoya might not be perfect. She grew up with divorced parents, and now she's gone through three different marriages. Yes, it looks odd. But every situation is different, and it doesn't mean that she's the issue in all of her relationships. Sometimes people choose wrong. And I do hope this time around Latoya vetted her husband carefully because now that she has children, she has to be careful who she brings around her kids. So I do hope she chose right this time, and I hope that she grows from her own mistakes and learns to do things differently in her new marriage because I do want her marriage to thrive this time around. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this. <laughs> I mean, I wish her the best as well, but I don't know the way she said that. Just, whatever. Um, I, I wish her love, peace, happiness, all that. Cardi B offset. Honestly, I don't think it's a PR stunt only because this woman has been dealing with this the entire time she's been with this man. Like, I, I feel like this is real life. <laughs> Are they using this to, you know, help promote her album even further? Maybe. Maybe they're like, mm, we can capitalize off of this. But I think this is actually occurring. I, I don't think... None of this is fake. When people talk about PR stunts, that's usually shit that is, is manufactured, like fake shit, in order to get attention. This this is her real life. She gets cheated on multiple times a year, every year, since she's met this man. So how is that a PR stunt? <laughs> if it's actually what's happening. I don't I don't think that qualifies. But just my opinion. I wish her peace and healing as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!